Hi students, uh, here we have another example of uh, writing quadratic equation. Uh, this example gives us a 2x-intercept at negative 2 and at 6, and a y-intercept at 3. So because they give us the x-intercept, uh, we should start with the intercept form, right? The intercept form is also known as the factor form, right? So we have uh, y equals a times x minus p, parentheses, x minus q, parentheses, right? Now, <clears throat> we don't have an a value, which means we are going to be required to solve for a, right? So that means that the y-intercept comes into uh, place, right? So the, the x value is 0, the y value is 3. So we're going to substitute those two values in to help us find the a value, right? Because we don't know what a is, and we have to find it, right? It could be 1, but we don't know. Anyway, let's solve this, right? Y is 3 equal A, we don't know, parentheses, X, X is 0, so that helps out, minus P. Well, our first P value, our first uh, X intercept is P right here, it's negative 2. So I'm going to, it's minus a negative 2, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to plus 2, and then times x minus q. q is your second x-intercept, right? So the, the 6 is your second x-intercept, which is q, right? So remind yourself, p and q are the x-intercepts, right? The x-intercepts, okay? Uh, now, oh, I forgot to replace x. x was 0, because if I don't replace x, I can't solve this equation. It's got two variables, so I got to put 0 in here, right? I got to put zero in there, all right, because x is zero. So now I'm going to simplify this mess, okay? A, 3 equals a. I'm going to do this. So 0 plus 2 is 2, so times 2. All of this is multiplication. And then times 0 minus 6 is negative 6, okay? And then I'm going to multiply. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. So all of this is negative 12a. And then that's 3. Okay, and now to solve for a, you're going to divide both sides by negative 12 to get a by itself, right? So be 3 divided by negative 12. You can simplify this uh, to 1 over 4, negative, right? So your a value is negative 1 over 4, right? Which makes your graph uh, larger, right? Larger because it's been compressed. Anyway, and it opens down because it's negative, okay? So now what do I do next? Well, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to go back to the factor form and put these things in there. Now, we don't need the 0, 3 anymore. We can just use x and y, right? So it'll be y equals negative 1 over 4 times x plus 2 parentheses, and then over here, instead of 0, you have to put x in there because we don't need 0 anymore, minus 6, okay, 0 minus 6, x minus 6. This is called the factor form, and today we're going to stop here for the sake of time. This is called the factor form, factored form, or x-intercept form, x-intercept form. If you want to change this to standard form, you can watch my other videos where I do uh, everything, okay? See you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.